<laughs> We're here to talk about our experience with the recliners that come with an option on the host cascade. First of all, they're pretty comfortable. They're great for watching shows at night. We have a huge storage spot for all of our nifty incidentals. It does make for a nice seat arrangement for storage and for relaxing. The recliners themselves are actually something that sold us on buying the Cascade in the first place. We use this all the time so that the chairs do get some use. We are also not necessarily the lightest of folks. With that and the combination of being full time, you're going to have some general wear and tear. That being said, it is not the most comfortable recliner. The cushions here are a little soft for me. So what we did was we purchased Sags Away Sagging Recliner Support. It's intended to help older recliners improve by pushing up the existing foam. Okay, this is Gary's chair, obviously well used. We had to unbolt the chairs from the floor, obviously. I am videoing. Do you want my, my help though? Probably. It'll be a lot easier with two. Yeah, it will be. What we've done is, is made two layers of this. And then now we're going to take this and put the third layer. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do, babe, yep. is favor the cushion here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to, yeah, just to get a little, about two thirds of it up on that. There you go. So you also want to try to get these straightened out as much as you can. It's important to try to get these little tabs over to the far edge of these springs. Otherwise, they won't sit flat. <laughs> so if anybody's interested, what's going on? For our Cascade, you have... These are your awning wires for your awning motor. As you can see, I've had several of those nice yellow crimp things come off. So my awning motor stopped. So I put in new, new connectors there. And then these little wires here, these are the awning wires. And then these are the lights that go underneath the coach and then your speaker wire so and then your water inlet your fresh tank inlets here and your breather tube is there and then both are connected down there but just looking at the seat from this angle you can tell that the seat cushion has been elevated from where it was. How does it feel? Better? It's better. You're, like you said, it's not perfect, but it is certainly better than it was. Pulled the recliner up, and I left that back one loose when I'm reinstalling this. And then all you do is tighten these down once you find the right hole. Well, I'd say let's try it for a little bit, and if we like it, we can add another one. They said you can do them almost three deep. There was a definite improvement putting those supports in. We got a little bit more height. There is a little more pressure on the, on the back seat. It uh, doesn't really address the lumbar, but the pillows we have are pretty good. For me personally, it wasn't quite enough, so I ended up buying an inflatable pillow uh, to help. There's definite improvement. 